was the night before school, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Except for them butterflies in your tummy because you nervous. <laughs> it's cool. Nerves are good. to my subscribers welcome back to my channel and if you are new to my channel welcome my name is Kristen and this is my channel Kristen Alyssa where I talk about all things dentistry faith and just lifestyle like and lifestyle can mean like food clothes skincare etc 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 um, so welcome and if you like those types of things don't forget to hit the subscribe button like now so you can help grow my channel. I'm trying to get to 5,000 by the end of August. I know that's a little ambitious, but I think it can happen. I think it can. <laughs> um, so I would really appreciate it if you did subscribe and show me some love in the comments and also by liking this video. So if you clicked on this video, you are probably getting ready to start, whether it's dental school, medical school, pharmacy school, PT school, nursing school, I don't know, like any professional school. And it's the night before you start, right? And everybody always talks about what you should do to prepare for school, like what classes you should take, what tests you should take, how your application should look. But when the day finally comes, you got in, you, you know, got your supplies, you've, you know, gotten through orientation and it's like your first day of classes nobody tells you what to do then they're just kind of like oh you made it you're good <laughs> you know well i'm here to tell you everything that you need to do the night before you start school when you're going to professional school like i'm in dental school so this is what i did and also things that i didn't do that i should have done that I'm telling you now and so hopefully it'll help you guys you know have a better start to your first year first things first it's totally normal to feel nervous like if you weren't feeling nervous I'd be a little worried just because like this is a pretty big step and a huge life change so being nervous is totally normal and trust me you are not the only person with nerves Every other person in your class is going to feel some extent of, you know, nervousness or anxiety the night before and even the day of and probably that anxiety might continue on throughout the year, hopefully not, but it could and just people just don't talk about it, you know? But again, it's totally normal to feel nervous. It's an exciting time. It's nerves aren't inherently bad. Nerves show that you care. And so that's normal. Okay? So, you're good. You're not alone. Alright. <laughs> so, the reason why I am bringing this one up is because people have asked me what to study the summer before they start dental school. Y'all, I don't think you realize <laughs> how much you're going to be studying for the next, like, 10 months of your life. If you have a break, if you have time off to just chill before you start school, take full advantage of it. Complete advantage of it. You do not need to be re-upping on your biochem or your dental anatomy or your human anatomy or physiology. Give yourself, again, grace. Do not study the night before you start dental school. Do not. It's really not benefiting you or anyone, but especially not you because you probably don't even need to know everything that you're reviewing, honestly. 
give your mental health priority during this year, okay? You are going to be so overwhelmed and stressed out a lot of the time and you're gonna look back on this time and be like, Dang, I wish I had just taken a couple weeks to just chill. Y'all wanna know what I did before um, starting dental school? I binged Game of Thrones. I watched How to Get Away with Murder, binged that, ate good food, hung out with my friends that I knew I wouldn't see for a while, and you know, lived my best life, went on trips and stuff. Do that. So the night before dental school, do not pick up a textbook, do not try and pick up a study app. Just watch some Netflix and chill, hang out with your friends. I mean, don't drink and you know, be hungover first day. <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> but just give yourself time to just be like, wow, I've made it this far. I deserve some rest, some TLC. It's gonna be good. <laughs> the second thing I want to tell you to do is completely reject, like, uh, 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 self doubt. Imposter syndrome is real. And so, so many people, especially in like, health professional schools feel it and experience it and feel like I don't belong here I am faking it I'm an imposter like maybe maybe I just got in for luck or a lot of people um, especially people of color like me will think oh I only got in here for the statistic no girl no dude you got there because you're qualified okay and don't let anybody tell you differently period Admissions officers don't go out giving pity degrees, like pity DDS degrees, offers of admissions and stuff like that, or MDs and stuff. Nah, these are the future doctors and, you know, lawyers and, you know, practitioners of the world. And so it's like a really serious responsibility that they have. They're not just going to give it out to somebody who, like, oh, they fill a quota. You know, don't ever think that, reject it, because, and the sooner you learn to reject that self-doubt, the better your mental health will be, not just for the rest of your school year, but for the rest of your life, it's in, in healthcare period. You belong there, you're qualified, yeah, maybe your GPA wasn't the same or as high as uh, some of your classmates, so what? There are other things on your application that made you good enough to get accepted into that school. So embrace that. Focus on the positive. God doesn't put us in situations that we don't belong in. If he puts us there, you belong there. No questions about it, period. Next thing I wanna tell you guys is to just give yourself some grace. You are not going to have all the materials and things that you think you might need for your first day or your first week of dental school, your professors know that. They know that maybe you don't have this certain book or maybe you don't have access to um, Blackboard or whatever online teaching system you use yet. Um, maybe you don't have a planner yet and you feel like you need a planner because somebody on YouTube told you that you need a planner to get through school. No, it's okay. Take a breath. If you need the planner, you can get it on your own time. There's no rush. It's okay if your calendar that you start writing your assignments in doesn't start on the exact day you started school. I'm the type of person where I need to have like everything basically perfect. I'm a perfectionist. So if school starts on August 7th, my planner needs to have everything, you know, ready to go color coded, lined out and everything. And it stresses me out unnecessarily. I don't know why I let it stress me out that sometimes those things don't, just don't work out. And that's okay. Give yourself grace. Give yourself time. You're going to get the scrubs you need. You're going to get the uniform you need. You're going to get all the little tiny materials that the professor's like, oh, you need this. And you're like, that wasn't on the list they gave us during orientation. It's okay. You're not alone. Everyone else is going through the same frenzy that you are. And professors are more understanding than you think. And lastly, and most importantly, give thanks. Give thanks. Do not forget when things like this happen in your life, that God brought you to this point. And he is the one that opened the doors for you to 
complete those applications, to do those interviews. He gave you, he opened those windows of opportunities, and now you're finally made it to the night before you start school. Just give thanks. I remember the night before my D1 year, I was a mess. Not because I was nervous, of course I was nervous, but I was a mess because I was just so grateful. If you guys knew the crap that I went through to get to dental school, man, I was bawling my eyes out. And I was just like, thank you, Jesus, for bringing me to this point. This is what all my prayers have been leading up to this very moment, and I'm finally here. And I told you that I would give you all the glory and all the praise once I got there. And that's exactly what I did. And yeah, that's all I have to say about that. Just give thanks. All right, so that is it for this video. Again, congratulations on getting into school, your professional school that you're in. Um, best of luck to you for this year. Do your absolute best, give it your all, you're gonna kill it. And there are gonna be times that you'll fail and that's okay, give yourself grace, all right? And don't forget that you belong and that God didn't put you there just to leave you and let you flail about, you know? You're there for a reason, you have a purpose. Don't forget to subscribe to this video, join the fam, I'd love to have you. And comment below if you're starting school, like what school are you starting at? Is it dental school, medical school, law school, grad school? Like, what is it? Um, leave it in the comments below. I'll be sure to respond to as many as I can. And don't forget to like this video. You guys have a wonderful, blessed night. And I'll see you guys later.